Hi guys, quick tutorial on how to update the FYG3 gimbal firmware. So first and foremost, you want to get yourself to the Foyotech website. And then you want to go to products. Oh, in fact, we'll click on that. And that will take us nicely to the gimbal itself. Okay, then we want to go to the download link, and there's a few things to download here. So first and foremost, you want the G3 gimbal firmware upgrade software. Um, then you want to get the latest version of the firmware itself, which will have a date on it. Uh, download both of those. They'll come in as uh, .raw files, so they'll need to be decompressed. Uh, the other thing that you need to do is you need to go to the download link at the top, and you need to go to uh, what is currently page 3 and you need to download the USB driver download now what this is, is this is the software that will install the drivers required to read from your USB um, to serial port basically the, the cable that comes with the uh, with the gimbal um, so download that um, and again then you will find you will have three downloads. What we want to do now is extract them all into the same place, ideally. I'm using WinRAW to do this, which is available for free. And once we've done that, you'll have three separate files all with the various bits of software. So before we start, we've got to install the USB driver. So we go into USB driver and we do the driver installer exe file. This is downloading and installing the uh, 1.7 exe file. There is actually a 1.9 available. Um, I will have a link to that in the comments. Okay, so that's all done and finished. So now what we can do is we can plug in the USB device. And you'll see that that will install in the bottom right hand corner. and you can see it's just looking for the update at the moment. So with that installed, the next thing that we want to do is actually run the software. Now, it's very important to follow um, the guidelines they set in the manual, which I'll tell you now, in regards to powering on the gimbal. If you do this in the wrong order, you will not update the firmware. It won't cause chaos or carnage, it just won't update properly. Um, so the, the fundamentals are don't power on until I say to. Um, the, the, if you power on the gimbal early, um, it won't connect um, in the way that it should do and hence it won't, won't actually do the update. So first and foremost we go um, to the uh, G3 gimbal firmware upgrade software and we double click on the firmware upgrade XE file. That will open up a very simple little folder. Now you've got a drop down with probably a list of COM ports. We need to find out which is the correct COM port. To do this, start button, simply type in device manager, loads up the device manager, and we want to be looking at port COM and LPT. And you may have only one in here. Basically, we need to identify the prolific USB to serial COM port brackets COM5, that tells us it's on COM5. So we choose COM5. What we then do is we open that, that basically says it's allowing communication. Again, we still have not powered on the gimbal, important. Um, so now we want to open the update file, the actual firmware file, so we say open file, that will take us to the, uh, the downloads, and we just want to find that in this folder, this is actually the latest version. So you find the folder with the latest version in, and so this is 1.21. Choose the .bin file and open, and you'll see it will say file OK, along with a bunch of mumbo jumbo here. OK, now at this point, this is when we then turn the gimbal on. Um, so I shall do that right now.
and you'll see as soon as I've actually done that um, it will say link OK that tells us that the, uh, the link between the gimbal and the firmware um, software is available and that it's version 1.2 I currently have version 1.2 on it this is telling me it's on 1.2 so now all I do is I press update and we sit and watch the send blocks go up this will cycle up to 100 probably a couple of times okay and whilst this is uh, doing that I will just remind you so the important thing to do don't turn the gimbal on until you've opened the COM port up so you've selected which COM port it is you've opened the COM port up you've allocated the file the firmware file um, and you've you've loaded that up you've got file OK is written there then you power it on at that point it will give you a link and as you can see it's sent it to OK and that is you done you can now close the connection, close the folder and your gimbal is all up and running. Uh, you'll have to power it off and on again to see the effects but that's, uh, that's it basically, all done.